Hello everybody and welcome to another Nuclearcraft video. This time it's a little tutorial about how to install script add-ons. Uh, script add-ons are a new system in Nuclearcraft Overhauled version 20.4.0 and uh, it's basically a way of people being able to add uh, custom content to the game uh, like sort of simple Nuclearcraft add-ons to add new heat sinks for fission reactors, new coolant heaters, maybe new turbine blades new stuff for the heat exchange and fusion reactor in the future when those multi-blocks are added without having to actually write a forge mod in total and it uses the power of craft tweaker scripts and also content tweakers uh, custom resources uh, loading system so the best thing to do i recommend is after installing both nuclear craft and craft tweaker and also content tweaker you need both craft tweaker and content tweaker installed alongside nuclear craft overhauled uh, load the game once and then inside your uh, directory where your Minecraft instance is uh, is located. So here, this is my tutorial world, uh, which has got all these mods installed. My test 1.12 overhaul that you see in the uh, spotlight videos. Uh, this is the uh, directory for it. And I've got a resources folder here, which has been generated by Content Tweaker. If I go inside, I'll also find that there's been a Nuclear Craft folder generated as well as a Content Tweaker folder that's been generated by Content Tweaker. Nuclear Craft now generates its own re resources folder in here. And then if you head into add-ons, this is where you want to install your add-ons to. Now, at the time of recording this video, uh, there are qu quite a few add-ons, script add-ons being developed, but there's uh, two at the moment that's from CurseForge that are in the current, fo the current recognized format for add-ons. And I'm sure the other two that are being developed that I know of will follow quite shortly. Um, so for now, I'm just going to download these two as an example. Uh, so the first one is more fuels, which just adds, you know, different types of fuels by Quantum Traverse. I'll actually do some proper spotlights on both of these in the future. Um, but the first one is more fuels, adds uh, new types of uh, isotopes and some new fuels. So we're just going to look out for them when we, inst when we uh, load up the game to make sure it's all there. And um, we'll go into more detail when we actually do a proper spotlight. I'll download that into my add-ons. More heat sinks, obviously adds more fission heat sinks. So that'll be pretty obvious if that's working. Download that, put it in there. Now, with uh, script add-ons uh, at the moment, I don't know whether I'll change this or not, you do have to unzip the, uh, the zips here. So just extract here and uh, extract here. Um, it comes with this macOS file, uh, one of them. I don't know why that's there, but just don't worry about that. Delete the more fuels thing. Make thing, uh, sorry, delete the zips. Make sure that when you go into these uh, add-ons, uh, that the, uh, the content tweaker lang scripts, all the subfolders are uh, one directory down rather than it accidentally being uh, two away. Uh, so you want to go from add-ons into the add-on folder itself and then see all this good stuff. So there's that. And then more heat sinks. There we go again. See all that good stuff. Uh, the DS store and the readme will not be in every add-on. That's just something that uh, Quantum Travers puts in his. Um, so some some won't, won't have that. So mainly look out for script, fol script folder, block state folder, model folder, that sort of thing. Okay, and that's everything ready to go. That's the add-ons now installed. So I'm going to just start up the game and uh, we'll see whether or not we see all that content. Okay, so here I am in the game. It's loaded up and uh, let's just go into our test world and we'll find out whether or not everything's loaded properly. If it has, we'll see it in JAI. As I said before, I'm not going to go into the details. Uh, we'll do like a proper spotlight and test out the fuels and the heat sinks and so on in a proper video. I just want to see that they're in JAI and hopefully you can trust me then. That, um, that it's working if they're in JEI. So any custom components like custom heat sinks and coolant heaters and all that sort of stuff for the fission reactors, turbines, etc., will be registered as a nuclear craft, uh, as a nuclear craft content. So we have to go to the end of this to hopefully find the heat sinks. There they are. Steel fission heat sink, ferroboring heat sink. All this stuff is uh, is the more fuel is the uh, the more heat sinks add on. All this, all of these extra heat sinks. They've got all their own rules. They're all should be localized properly. Looks brilliant. So a whole bunch of stuff there, even a small heat sink there uh, to play around with. It's got quite a complicated rule, so uh, uh, take a look if you can see if you can satisfy that one. So there we go, there's all the, the, the heat sinks, they're working, they're in, as expected. And then hopefully the fuels are under Content Tweaker, and there they all are. Brilliant, look, look how many fuels there are there. That looks quite mysterious, and the name suggests that I would be right about that. Uh, okay, so there we go, that looks like it's working. Um, Oh my goodness, eight rad per tick. Okay, there's some dangerous stuff in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch that. I'm going to be very careful. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is add-ons. That's as simple as that. You just put the zips in there. You extract them. Make sure that the um, the directory is such that you have the add-ons folder, then the named folder for the add-on, and then the langs and the block states and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, the add-ons should load when uh, when you start up the game. Um, 
I'll quickly, I think, I'll need to uh, do a bit of uh, tabbing here. Uh, if I quickly do uh, something like this, um, I should be able to show you how this actually works if you're now interested. If you're, if you're not interested in how the sort of underlying, uh, you know, the underlying workings uh, happen, then at this point, you've uh, watched the whole video um, and that's how you install add-ons. But for those who want to see what basically happened when I start up the game, uh, let me just uh, do this. Okay, cool. Actually worked. Um, I can actually close the game here. I'm just going to do that. And uh, basically, uh, what happened is that all of these uh, add-on folders, uh, Nuclecraft read these, so it reads the content tweaker file and uh, sees in here that the content tweaker file inside the add-on is basically this is content tweaker resources and this needs to be copied over to the content tweaker resources here. So it's kind of like this whole folder here, this whole resources folder, kind of acts like a resource pack for content tweaker normally, but in fact it's actually a generalized resource pack. So I can put Nuclecraft stuff in here as well. This is why the whole system works in the first place. And uh, all that uh, content tweak stuff that was in the add-on got copied over to this folder here. So, for example, the textures of all of the all of the items for the fuels are now all in here. So there they all are. Um, we just saw that in the uh, in the game. Uh, all of the uh, the models as well for the items. Um, for those of you who don't know how texture packs work, this might not mean anything. But these are all the model JSONs that uh, basically point to the textures, say how to render it. Um, so that's how the the more fuels add-on uh, basically worked. As for the uh, the more heat sinks, it got copied into the nuclear craft area. Uh, the block states, which basically say what sort of models to render for the blocks, are all in here. You can see all the different types here um, of heat sink that we saw in JAI. Um, there should there won't be any models because uh, there's a special type of uh, block state sort of format that doesn't need models in Forge. Uh, and so if we're straight over to textures, we saw the textures for the blocks here. There they all are. They got copied over here. Uh, all of the scripts that actually load up uh, the stuff into the game got copied into the script folder here. It will then be put into a subfolder, Nuclear Craft, and then in here you'll see the two add-ons: more fuels and more heat sinks. Now, uh, more fuels is quite a lot because it's to do with like the uh, actual registration, and then to do with uh, the recipes and then the radiation, and so on. So it's quite a lot of, of, of them there. Um, then there's uh, for more heat sinks a bit simpler. We've got just got the recipes. And uh, some of the, let's have a look at the generation, which is just the, uh, the actual registration of these heat sinks. You can see uh, it's pretty simple. It's just literally just one line as for actually registering the thing. Obviously, you need to do the texture and so on, but it's actually just a one liner in Craft Tweaker. Registration dot register fission sink. So, for example, the steel one here um, is registered with a cooling rate of 150. Uh, and the, re and the, uh, the rule here is three iron sinks. Now, we haven't gone into um, Nuclecraft's uh, rule parsing system, but there is a rule parsing system which this is using. So uh, you basically write a, a string here, so uh, one magnesium sink and one boron sink, and Nuclecraft will parse that and turn that into an actual placement rule, and then turn that also into a tooltip as well. So it's quite complicated on the inside, but as far as uh, script add-on is concerned, it doesn't need to know any ab about any of that, it just needs to know how to uh, read these properly. There's one more thing I was just thinking I should probably show you that uh, some people might be uh, wondering about if they're, uh, if they're wondering how the lang files work, because if we look here, both of these add-ons need to add localization. So they've each got a lang file. So this is a lang file that, for example, takes all of the uh, the mod names, the sort of unlocalized names, and turns them into English, for example. This is the English language file. Uh, you'd need to add extra support for other languages if you wanted to uh, to do that. Um, so there's the more fuel lang file, and here's the more heat sinks lang file. So there we go. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty simple. Um, but of course, the problem is that you can only ever have one lang file in a, in a resource pack, one lang file for each uh, language. So if we look over here, you can see, if we go into the Nuclecraft area of this resource pack, there's only one uh, language file. And what Nuclecraft does is for each language, it will actually take all of the language files and sort of compress them into one. one. So you can see here, this is the more fuel section here, all this. And then uh, below it, you've then got the more heat sinks piece as well. So um, basically it just combines them together if you're wondering how that works. So that's basically how it works under, underneath if you're interested in, in what uh, you know, Nuclecraft's actually doing. It's just basically copying all the files and the add-ons to the right places. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. And luckily that's pretty pretty simple with some of the really nice um, uh, libraries that Forge and, uh, and Java has. So yes, again, that's how you install add-ons. I'll do a video how to make them. And uh, I think I've covered all bases with that. So hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, see you in the future for more interesting videos. Until next time.